Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking hockey. Head to the NHL where the Islanders are taking on the Capitals. Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger from Picks and Parlays. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want notifications every time we post a new video. The Islanders favored in this one, minus 130. The total is five and a half goals. We've got Scott Rickenbach joining us, who was the number one capper on Picks and Parlays uh, all of last year and really strong when it comes to hockey. So, Scott, what's your take on this one? Thanks, Chelsea. We've got a great matchup here with the Islanders and Capitals. It sets up really, really well because there's multiple revenge factors to it, and they're going opposite directions, which is what I really like because I feel that this has resulted in some good value here. This line opened up offshore as high as 160 on the Islanders, even though they're on the road here. But there's a reason for that, and yet the line has come down all the way to as low as 125. That 130 number is kind of a blended average right now. We're seeing 125, 135 uh, in that range out here in Vegas and also offshore as of Monday evening. So let's talk about this Tuesday evening matchup and the setup here and the reason for all the crazy line movement. Here's the deal. You've got people looking at the Capitals in a revenge situation here because the Islanders knocked them out of the playoffs last year. However, the Capitals are currently down four guys because of a health protocol uh, issue that has resulted in them being suspended essentially for four games. This is the third of those four games. And they're not just anybody. These are key players. Ovechkin, Orlov, also Kuznetsov is out, and Samsonov, their number one goalie. So these are four key players for the Capitals that are not on the ice right now. And the other thing about the revenge factor here is, yes, the Capitals would love revenge. Islanders knocked them out of the playoffs. But Coach Barry Trotz will never forget how he felt he was mistreated by the Capitals organization after they won the Stanley Cup a few years ago. And then they failed to give him the contract he was looking for. And that's why he is now the coach of the Islanders. And yes, he got revenge by knocking them, knocking the Caps out of the playoffs last year. But you can bet every time these teams play, and especially when they meet in D.C., he's wanting that win. He wants to beat them on that ice right there. And I think this is a great spot to back the Islanders as a small uh, road favorite here. Pretty good pricing here, considering all the guys that are out right now for the Capitals. And another key to this matchup, Chelsea, is that uh, when you look at the defense of these two teams and how they've been playing, the Islanders had one hiccup, but in their other four games, total of three goals. They've allowed just a total of three goals in those four games. As for the Capitals, they've allowed at least three goals in five of their six games. So big difference in how these teams are playing in their own zone. Typical defensive-minded Islanders hockey. They've been getting it done, and I think they'll get it done again here on Tuesday night. Yeah, Barry Trotz, uh, one-time Nashville Predators uh, coach uh, here in Nashville. So uh, that's why I know him. But um, uh, all, as always, great insight from Scott Rickenbach. Scott, thanks for joining us here on Picks and Parlays.